I wanna share with you my favorite method to use making money as a day trader. And yeah, it is a little bit evil, but it works and it's a way to look at the market and look at certain situations and help you develop trade plans that really do make sense. And it all revolves around feelings. And I get it, sometimes us guys, feelings, I don't know, feeling, you know, but just, you're gonna to have to tap into feelings, but not your feelings, other people's feelings. So this is how it works, and I, I should also know, I'm not gonna stay here on the blackboard, this is not gonna be all in theory. I'm gonna show you some real life results from my personal trading, so that you can see exactly what I'm talking about, you know, how it all plays out in the real world of trading. But what I'm trying to get at here is this is you, and your job as a trader is to go out there, right, and you're looking at all times for trade ideas. But a great way to develop a trade idea is this. How do feel? But how do who feel? Not, not you. How do, actually let me change up the color here. Others. How do others feel? And when you answer that, you can begin to piece together some worthwhile situations. So to set this up, I want you, as, as you watch everything play out, ask yourself, how do you think I'm feeling? How would you be feeling in this situation? Right, because that's how you're gonna figure out how do others feel. Just ask yourself, well, if I was in that situation, how would I feel? But the idea here is how are others feeling? So watch this trade, or the first part of it, and then like I said, in the back of your mind, be asking yourself, all right, how, how, would, how would I be feeling? How was Clay feeling? So let's get to this first part of the, the trade. Really like this pattern here. I don't wanna take it on this candle. I wanna see this candle close down below it, which would be fantastic. Uh, but that $16 mark, and just to offer up a little context here, uh, have that alert right there as the big resistance. So if that level can be broken, and it's trying to once again to get back up to that area, then it uh, very well could be a good move. I'll uh, doing this little last second, like I said, uh, I didn't think I was gonna make a video, and then I saw this pattern take place, and I thought, you know what? I, I think that could make a very nice trade, and I have no problem saying when I make YouTube videos, I wanna make good ones where like, I'm making money. Now, I'll, if, you, if you're not new to the channel, then you know I'll post them if I lose money too, but the goal here is definitely to be posting videos when I'm making money, and I saw this setup and thought, you know, I think there's a good chance here to make some money. So in there at 16, let's see if we can get the break of it. As of right now, once again was rejected by it. Oh, 1575. I might have to flip my position around here and get short. So take the loss, and then go lo take the loss, and then get short at 1575 if it looks like it doesn't want to hold up. But as of now, maybe it does want to get over 16. Look at that wall. If this breaks 16, it's gonna go. But as of right now, this is looking like a pretty big if. Watching 16, can it break there? Nope. Goodness. Clearly hidden sellers there. There's the break. All right, all out there. That was a terrible, terrible break. Whew, can you sense it? That $16 mark. Oh, but you could hear it in my voice, right? There is from frustration, there is some anger, there is some disappointment, why? Well, because what I wanted to happen did happen, but not really in the way that I wanted it to. So the, the question becomes, and this is what I want you to do is, okay, if you are in that situation and it happened to you, what would you be feeling, right? Well, like I said, you would probably be feeling frustration too. You'd be feeling maybe disappointment. You would be feeling just, oh, wow, I, I wanted this to happen, it's not happening, and okay, now all of a sudden maybe something else is happening, which makes me feel even angrier. So if those things are all occurring, and if you can say, you know what, if I put myself in that person's shoes, 
And that's how they're feeling. And remember, it's not just one person. People around the world trade. So if there are thousands of people around the world that probably feel this way, is there anything else that I can do? So you are really just depending on, okay, that's how I would feel. So what can I do about it? What can I do to actually, dare I say, make money from it? And that's a great method to use. You start to think, all right, how would other people be feeling if these things happened? How would I feel? Okay, now what can I do to take advantage of those people's feelings? Which is pretty savage, which is pretty pretty nasty. But hey, that's the market. The market is a game of emotions. That's why technical analysis is great because it shows you the game of emotions. But just when you look at it like that, when you structure it and use the method of, how would I feel? Okay, if I would feel that way, you know, I'm a, I'm a rational person. I'm sure there's lots of other people feeling that way. So what can I do based on other people's feelings to bring it back to myself to, well, make some money? So let me go back and see how the rest of this plays out. And you'll hear me talk all the way through it about the decisions I'm making, why I'm making them. And hopefully it makes sense because now I had the unique advantage of, I didn't have to think, you know, how would other people feel? I already knew the feeling. Why? Well, because I was feeling it myself because I was partaking in the trade. But you don't need to actually be partaking in a trade to know the feelings. You can just ask yourself, how would I feel? And that's gonna open up a whole lot of gates and a whole lot of doors. So let's go back and watch the rest of this trade. 1575, fake. Breakout, flush point, one minute. So I am actually way more interested now on the short side for this one, because seeing that action, there's gotta be other people in the market that are feeling like that right now. Maybe they're still holding, and I think if they're still holding for that 16 break and it goes down there and cracks through the 1575 mark, at that point, those people are gonna be waving the white flag saying, pretty much saying what I'm saying. What kind of breakout was that? That was terrible. So right now those people gotta be getting worried here. I'm not gonna take the short on this candle though. I can't take it on this one. I would be interested in the next candle, but this one I can't take it. So please stay up, no, don't, don't drop below me. Shoot. Again, all those people that bought, that were me, right? That were buying that 16 mark. There are a lot of them are, are, are probably getting ready to wave the white flag. Maybe they've already waved the white flag and that's why it's starting to roll over here, but. Yeah, I'd be willing to, I still like 1570. But again, I can't take it, oh, and there it goes. Just could not take it on that candle. That's just the way I like to trade, I like to view the markets. Uh, but for people that did, well then they were getting paid very handsomely. But from the learning lesson standpoint, I mean, you understand the story. I was a part of the story, right? I was looking to, to play the break of 16. It was hammering and hammering and hammering. And oh man, is this thing gonna break? And it did finally break, and then it barely budged. And then it came back down, and yeah, those people. Now, for me, and I'm not. This will sound cocky. I'm not trying to be cocky, but I at least realized something wasn't quite right. So I just got out for it, actually a profit. But there are some people that wanted to give it a little bit more wiggle room, and they they are now their stops are going off. They're waving the white flag. They're irritated. What kind of terrible break of 16 was that? And rightfully so. I agree. That was terrible. That was a terrible break. Unfortunately for me, though, it did not want to. Ah, oh, that candle. Like I said, that candle right there is the one that, you know, I, I I didn't want to take it on. I just wanted to a next candle to form, and the market didn't give it to me. But like I said, just from a, an educational and story perspective, I mean, that's a lot of what trading is, is understanding and realizing what other people may be feeling. And in this situation, I had a very big advantage because I was one of those people feeling that way. So I decided to just flip that around and say, you know, all those other people that are feeling that way, you know, if that level falls and it did, then it could be a nice short, but it just didn't quite behave the way I wanted it to. So that is disappointing, but uh, oh well, I guess I should be grateful here. I missed it, but I did also miss having the thing roll all the way back over on me and I walked away with, you know, a lot of people just lost money there. There's no doubt about it. And I mean, that was a beautiful setup, fantastic setup, which I suppose brings the other learning lesson. No matter how beautiful setup doesn't mean that it's actually gonna work out. The market offers no guarantees. Um, but I mean, it was beautiful enough to at least still give me a chance uh, to make the $50 on it. I was, I was planning on making a whole lot more than $50, but. Now, of course, 
I messed up on the trade. I wasn't quite, it didn't behave exactly how I wanted it to behave. Um, and I mean, that's a whole nother topic about, uh, you know, just because you have a broad idea doesn't mean that you're actually going to make money from it. But like I said, just the little small thing didn't quite behave. But as far as the general trade idea was concerned, I absolutely nailed it because, hey, how do other people feel? What are they going through? What are they experiencing? What, and what would I be experiencing? And then from there, I said, you know what? I, I, I think the price is gonna go down because if I, if I was in that situation, I would be upset. I would be wanting to just get out of the trade now. I'd probably, if, especially if I'm a discipline trader, I would be waving the white flag and letting the stop loss go off, which would cause the price to go down even further. And that is exactly what happened. But for me, didn't quite behave in the exact manner I wanted to, so I, didn't, I wasn't able to take advantage of it. But the general premise was fantastic in the sense of by focusing on other people's feelings, by using the method of focusing on how are other people probably wanting to behave right now, and then it's a, it's a game of chess, and then making a, a move based on how you think they're probably gonna behave based on how they're feeling, well, you can put yourself in some very nice situations to make money as a day trader. So that's my favorite method to develop trade ideas, to, to you know formulate how I think I should approach the market, is by as, as evil as it sounds, thinking about how other people feel, and then asking, okay, based on their feelings, is there something that I can do to put money in my pocket because I think I know how they're going to behave based on how they're feeling. So evil, I suppose, but that's the way the market works and that's the way that the market is not gambling because you need to have rational decisions. You need to make rational strategies and a great way to build those is just based off the feelings of how other people are probably feeling at certain times within the market. So hopefully this helps. If you enjoyed this video, then hit that like button. That's a very quick, time efficient way to communicate that to me. Also comments, questions, suggestions, leave those down below. If you've watched any of my past videos, you know I do read and reply to all comments. And then finally, check out the channel as a whole. If you like the live trade video sections from this video, I offer an entire playlist on the channel. So go check those out. And hopefully you like what you see enough to hit that subscribe button as I'd love to have it as, as a subscriber to the channel. But yeah, get out there, ask yourself, how do others feel? And then from there, that's gonna open up all sorts of different entryways for you to put together some profitable trade plans. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm gonna to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.